Today we're gonna to be diving into five foods that can actually help fight cancer. Dr. William Lee, a well-known physician and researcher, has spent his career exploring how what we eat can help fight cancer. His work shows that certain foods can activate the body's natural defenses, support healthy blood vessels, and even slow the growth of cancer. Today, we're shining a light on his top three food choices that may have a powerful impact on your health and well-being. Book Eat to Beat the Seas, I got it right here. Check it out if you haven't read it. I strongly recommend it, Eat to Beat the Seas. It's got a lot of stuff in here uh, about food doses and all the different kinds of foods that can activate your health defenses. To fight cancer, there's whole sections about um, cancer-fighting foods in there. You see, our bodies are constantly building new blood vessels through a natural process called angiogenesis. When it's working right, it's like a smart traffic system, creating vessels only where they're really needed, like during healing. But when that system goes haywire, it can actually help tiny, hidden cancers grow by feeding them with abnormal blood vessels, kind of like laying down a highway straight to the tumor. That's where Dr. William Lee's research comes in. He's found that certain foods contain natural compounds that help regulate this process. In simple terms, they can block those sneaky blood vessels from forming and essentially starve out the cancer before it even has a chance to grow. Pretty amazing, right? All right, let's meet the first of our cancer-fighting A-listers. Number one, apple. I love apples. You've heard of the thing, an apple a day keeps a doctor away? Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. First up is the everyday hero, the humble apple. It might seem simple, but apples are packed with powerful plant compounds called polyphenols. These include things like procyanidins and epigallocatechin, gallate, yeah, a mouthful, but trust me, they do amazing things. According to research from the Institute of Food Research, these natural compounds can block a key molecule called VEGF. That's short for vascular endothelial growth factor, and it's basically how tumors send out a signal saying, hey, we need more blood. But when VEGF is blocked, cancer cells struggle to build their own blood supply. And without fuel, it's a lot harder for them to grow. So yeah, an apple a day might do a lot more than just keep the doctor away. Well, what about prevention? What are foods that can prevent cancer? Well, it turns out that two apples a day actually can lower the rate of uh, lung cancer and colon cancer. Why? Because there are natural substances in apples like quercetin. That's one of the natural chemicals that actually are naturally anti-angiogenic. One of the standout compounds in apples is quercetin, a natural flavonoid found mostly in the skin. Quercetin has been shown in several studies to promote apoptosis, which is the body's natural process of eliminating damaged or abnormal cells, including cancer cells. It also has anti-inflammatory effects and helps neutralize free radicals, which can damage DNA and lead to cancer development. In addition to quercetin, apples contain procyanidins, which have been linked to the suppression of cancer cell proliferation, and epigallocatechin gallate, EGCG, a compound better known from green tea, but also found in trace amounts in apples. These compounds may block angiogenesis, the process by which tumors grow new blood vessels to feed themselves. By cutting off that blood supply, apples may essentially starve developing tumors. Now, what's in an apple that's good for you? Fluorogenic acid. Fluorogenic acid lights up your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you gotta wash it really well anyway, but if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin, if what that does. That protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. One more apple fact. Apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidase. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat. Again, good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. What's more, apples support gut health through soluble fiber like pectin, which feeds good bacteria. A healthy gut microbiome can reduce inflammation and strengthen the immune system, both of which play critical roles in cancer defense. Interestingly, most of these cancer-fighting compounds are found in the apple's skin, so go for organic apples and eat them unpeeled whenever possible. Number two, asparagus. 
Purple asparagus isn't just eye-catching, it's also a powerful ally when it comes to supporting your body's defense against cancer. What makes it stand out, besides the color, is a group of natural plant compounds called anthocyanins. These give purple asparagus its deep hue and are known for their strong antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects. Uh, purple asparagus. Now, what makes the purple asparagus purple is actually a natural dye called anthocyanins. Anthocyanins are also the beneficial, healthy bioactives that are found in blueberries and um, pomegranates and all these other really, really great um, blackberries, other great dark colored fruits. And this makes this special type of asparagus even more beneficial. This vibrant vegetable is rich in nutrients and natural compounds that support the body's defense systems, especially one group of compounds known as saponins. Saponins, like anthocyanins and berries, are plant-based phytonutrients known for their anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties. They're especially abundant in asparagus. Research shows that saponins can disrupt cancer cell growth by triggering apoptosis, a self-destruct mechanism that helps the body eliminate abnormal cells before they become dangerous. Even more impressively, saponins can interfere with the ability of cancer cells to multiply and spread. Some studies have shown that these compounds can slow the progression of leukemia, colon, and breast cancer cells in laboratory conditions. In addition to saponins, asparagus contains other helpful antioxidants, like vitamin C, vitamin E, and glutathione, which protects cells from oxidative stress. This is important because oxidative damage to DNA is one of the key factors that can lead to cancer over time. Asparagus is also a good source of folate, a B vitamin that supports proper DNA repair and healthy cell division. Low folate levels have been linked to increased cancer risk, especially colorectal cancer. Plus, asparagus is a great source of folate, a B vitamin that keeps your DNA healthy and your cells dividing the right way. And let's not forget the fiber it helps feed the good bacteria in your gut, which plays a big role in controlling inflammation and supporting your immune system. Now, color matters. Check it out. Um, there's also white asparagus. Let me just show you what white asparagus looks like. No anthocyanins, right? And that contrasts with what we're more used to seeing, green asparagus. And green asparagus actually has a little bit of anthocyanins, but nothing like these. So if you want to actually explore and try something healthy, look for purple asparagus. And Anthocyanins are a class of flavonoids found in purple, red, and blue fruits and vegetables. In purple asparagus, they not only act as antioxidants, but also show anti-inflammatory and anti-proliferative properties. Research indicates that anthocyanins can inhibit the growth of cancer cells by interfering with enzymes involved in tumor formation and suppressing genes related to inflammation and metastasis. One study published in the Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry found that anthocyanins can suppress angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels that feed tumors. This aligns with Dr. William Lee's concept of using anti-angiogenic foods to starve cancer. By blocking this process, anthocyanins help reduce the chances of tumors growing and spreading. Number three, avocado. Lab studies have even shown that avocado B which is found in avocados, can even kill some form of cancer cells, all right? Avocados are much more than a creamy addition to your toast. They're a nutrient powerhouse with surprising cancer-fighting potential. Packed with healthy fats, fiber, and an impressive array of phytochemicals, avocados support your body's ability to prevent and slow the growth of cancer cells. One of the standout compounds in avocados is persin, a natural fatty acid derivative found in the leaves, seeds, and flesh of the fruit. Person has been studied for its ability to induce apoptosis, programmed cell death, in certain cancer cells, particularly in breast cancer models. This means it may help the body get rid of cells that are damaged or turning cancerous before they spread. Avocados are also rich in glutathione, a powerful antioxidant that supports the liver's detoxification process and helps protect cells from oxidative stress. One of the major contributors to cancer development Along with glutathione, avocados are loaded with carotenoids like lutein and zeaxanthin. These antioxidants accumulate in tissues and may reduce inflammation, protect DNA, and lower cancer risk, especially in prostate and oral cancers. This is a very healthy produce you can find in the market, avocado. It's a great source of dietary fiber and healthy fats, monounsaturated called oloic acid. 
basic ole oleic acid is the same stuff you find in olive oil. So, if you want to benefit your circulation, your blood vessels, and your gut health, think about uh, avocados. But lutein isn't acting alone. Avocados are rich in monounsaturated fats, which help your body absorb fat-soluble antioxidants like vitamins A, D, E, and K, boosting your body's natural defenses. These healthy fats also support hormone balance, which is especially important in hormone-sensitive cancers like breast and ovarian. Avocados also contain glutathione, another potent antioxidant involved in detoxification, and fiber, which supports a healthy gut and helps the body eliminate excess estrogen and toxins. And thanks to their anti-inflammatory effects, avocados can help create a cellular environment that's less favorable to cancer development. Remember, while no single food is a magic bullet, Incorporating these nutrient-rich choices into a balanced diet can empower your body's natural defenses. Always consult with your healthcare provider for personalized advice, especially if you're undergoing treatment. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends and family, and leave a comment below about your favorite healthy recipe or your thoughts on using food as medicine. For more insights into how you can make everyday choices that contribute to a healthier life, don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. Until next time, stay healthy and keep thriving.